for you. You know how on the internet there are like pages, like everything's categorized, and the headline was uh, cinema is a game, I think. I wanted to talk broadly at the beginning about your films as games. Yeah, you know, this is the, the fault is, uh, it's not my fault, it's the, uh, this, it's your, uh, it's a Canadian guy, uh, Mark Perenson. He made this interview and uh, in the context of this interview, I have said that, I think, that, uh, uh, that cinema was a game. It's a game in the sense that uh, when you're making a film, for me, I don't believe uh, that cinema uh, should try to reproduce reality. So you have to make up some rules, like in games. And so uh, there is the film, there is the viewers. Uh, it's the viewers that not, does not mean the audience, you know, like, like an abstract thing, everybody is different. And uh, the viewer, each one of the viewers has to respond to what is proposed by the film, with the rules of the film, with uh, their own interests and their own uh, sense of humor and uh, whatever they have, you know? And so it's a, view, it's a game with the viewer. That's in him. In the face you deserve, uh, there's a moment where one of the characters says, um, kind of goodbye my friends, and, and all of the friends seem like they're governed by these kind of rules though. So is there a point in the films where the rules no longer apply? Well, this, uh, in, the, in the, the rules of the game of, the, of this film, uh, Our Beloved Month of August, uh, in, in this film there you have this character that disappears in the beginning, in the, like after 30 minutes of uh, being on the film, he disappears, he becomes sick and the, his uh, sickness is uh, a sickness that uh, normally children have, called measles, I think. And, uh, and so he has to, he, like he, he is off, he does not appear in the film, in, we know that he's like in a in his bed, uh, shivering with a fever or something, and is making up a new world, a world that connects with childhood. And, uh, and of course, the problem of, of this character is that he's very childish, you know, he does very childish uh, things. And I guess there is a moment in our life where all of us, we have to say goodbye, my friends, goodbye to childhood, goodbye to certain things we believed, and that in the process of aging and growing up, you start to lose these uh, things, which is not a very bad, uh, awful thing, but uh, it's something natural. Uh, of course, in a way, it's kind of sad, you lose some of the innocence, and sometimes, uh, at least me, I can regret losing the loss of this innocence. Uh, the time where you believe in things that you cannot believe anymore. And uh, in a way, cinema can allow you, in a way, to get this back. And uh, so in the case of this film, our, uh, The Face You Deserve, <laughs> the main character becomes ill, he disappears, he invents, he, and he invents a film, he's making up a film. He invents characters and uh, things they have to do and certain rules and uh, he goes, he plays along until the moment where these characters clash with each other and they disappear. And so the last sentence is goodbye, my friends. And goodbye, my friends is uh, yeah, goodbye to, the, to this moment, to this time where you can believe certain things. Is, uh, is cinema something that's also lost, though? Is it, uh, in cinema? This, yeah, like well, the history of cinema as maybe something that you, um, is no longer available. No, I don't think so. I think that uh, 
uh, cinema exists and uh, the memory of cinema also exists and uh, the films that are being produced nowadays like always in the history of cinema there are lots of uh, bad films but you still have good films and uh, so I would not go that far and say you know like uh, there was uh, it was <coughs> in the 80s in the 80s there was this discussion uh, a little bit because of Godard that was saying that cinema ended that's not true uh, a certain cinema has finished yeah uh, but uh, the memory of this cinema I hope it's alive it's it will be alive if we can still uh, be showing these films uh, of course that these days we ask ourselves if this will be it will continue to be uh, possible because uh, you know that uh, because of the changing of, uh, of uh, screenings in 35 millimeters to digital cinema, there will be a moment where every cinema will be equipped with only digital uh, means, and uh, so it will be tough to see most of the films because they don't have DCPs. So, but only in cinema text they will. So let's see how if the, the memory of cinema can still be alive. It will be alive since uh, there will be a transmission. If uh, if uh, the people nowadays can still see films shot in the past. Well, there there are different production limitations that exist now, um, as you say, like switching to digital and. With uh, August, you, it started on 16, and then that was kind of scrapped. Is, is that August? Uh, no, it was uh, 16 all the time. It was, okay, uh, but there was like an initial plan of like a bigger maybe scope with a lot of extras. That was kind of there was no. a shift at, at some point. It was a, there was a shift, but not because of the material. Uh, okay, you know, because with the material, uh, some. Uh, I say that uh, cinema is a game, but I, I, I can uh, sometimes I think that cinema is a little bit like hunting too. Uh, the, but uh, with the uh, one thing that it's uh, better there is that uh, no one is killed, supposedly. <laughs> but uh, uh, what happens is that I have the sensation, for instance, in the case of our beloved month of August, I prefer to have like uh, 16 millimeter stock, film stock, and to shoot with that, uh, then to, uh, to, to can be able to shoot uh, in digital. And this is because of hunting. When you go hunting, you have like a rifle and a limited uh, ammunition. So you cannot, you know, just shoot all the day. Uh, that is not good for me. I have to decide the, mo the good moment to shoot and it becomes part of the of doing films is to you know to bet on on certain things and just let down other things and uh, so the the shift in the, in our beloved month of august uh, um, occurred not because of uh, uh, material of uh, shooting on digital or, or film but because of the lack of money there was a moment there is always a moment in my films where the producer appears and it just uh, says, okay, no money for the, this script. And then it's, uh, I get a little bit mad. Uh, and then I have two possible things to do. One is uh, to wait to get more money, which uh, normally does not happen. So it's not uh, such a good idea i think and other possibility is uh, you know to try to reinvent the film while doing it not just to 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 do like uh, uh, the same script you have imagined but like uh, in a poor version that's not a good option so i think that uh, 
it's best to just try to reinvent the film while shooting it. And that's what happened in the, the case of our beloved month of August.